What's up, Star Wars fans, and welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. This time we're looking at some imported figures uh, from Bandai, uh, Tamashii Nations to be exact. We've got SH Figure Arts, Django Fett. Um, picked this one up a couple of weeks ago, along with the Episode 2 Obi-Wan Kenobi, which I'll be doing next. Um, I picked them up from littletoycompany.com.au. Uh, they got to me pretty quick, and they were reasonably priced, so... I was, I was pretty thrilled to have them. Um, now, while this isn't the greatest greatest action figure going around, it's it's certainly really good. Um, I, I really like it. It has, it has a few flaws. Um, one I've had to fix already, um, but that wasn't a big deal, so I'll, I'll talk about that when I get to it. But overall, I like the look of it. He displays really well. Um, he moves really well. There's a few little nitpicky things that I have with this one. But uh, overall, accessories are great. Final look is good. Uh, I think he looks a lot better than the Black Series Django Fett. I'm just not a big fan of that helmet. Um, I feel like it's a bit too big. Um, I know the removable helmet was a good thing. I think that was cool. But in terms of, yeah, like I said, the Black Series one's just not quite there. Um, I'd rather see a non-removable helmet like this one. So let's take a quick look. I'll do a quick little 360 here just so you can have a look around. So you can pick out one floor already as these little cords to his flamethrower they do sort of just slot into his gauntlet there but uh, when you articulate the elbows they do tend to slip out every now and then uh, these ones have sort of held in okay at the moment but uh, yeah things like the jetpack look nice yeah he's an overall nice looking figure accessory wise he's got um, a set of fists not most of these figures come with, they come with an assortment of hands so you can swap out. So this isn't a fight, assortment of fists, this sort of half open hand, which I have the other one on the figure there. I like it sort of a bit of a gunslingery, you know, he's, he's, he's hovering around the blaster at his belt there, uh, the holster waiting to draw. So there's a pair of them. There are a pair of sort of odd looking blaster holding hands sort of half hold them uh, I think that's the other one there yep and then we have two sort of blaster holding hands but none with the finger actually on the trigger because um, the other one doesn't really fit properly it's just a little bit weird but that's okay looks fine and uh, yeah the other hand I've got on the figure there so But the blasters look good. Now the cool thing they've done here, this is something I do really like, is um, the holsters, is what they've done is they've provided you with two cut-off cut -off versions of his blasters so they can slot in there. And of course, it's there we go. They just sort of peg in there nice and tight. So I've got one of them over there, obviously. Other accessories he comes with, he comes with this swap out piece of his gauntlet. Now if you remember the scene from Attack of the Clones where he's gone sliding down the edge of uh, the platform of Kamino and he's got to get his little Batman, Batman thing out to dig into the metal to stop him from sliding. <laughs> um, that does swap out with this piece here, I think it's this side, yep, so as you can see that just pops out the side there. I'm going to leave it in there just because those little black wires are going to go everywhere. But yeah, that just sort of pegs on there and replaces that. And you can swap out the, the little wires there. They plug into that one as well. So that's pretty nice. Um, also comes with the Camino Saber Dart. There it is. Well, I don't know that it is actually. I think it's the, uh, the arrowhead from the... Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> from the, from his, like, shooty grapple thing. So it's not a Camino Saber Dart at all. Forgive me for that. I did like saying Camino Saber Dart. But, uh, yeah, that's that's that end. And that will plug into... Uh, where is it? Where does it plug into? This is the question. The end there. 
So it does peg in there if you wanted to display him that way. I'm not going to do it right now. But uh, one, one major issue this figure did have straight out the box was this joint in the torso. Um, I'm not going to... No, nah, I'm not going to try and pop it out now. But it's on a ball and socket in there. There's two torso joints in there. There's an upper and a lower. So you can see that bottom one's a little bit tight, that top one sort of moves around nice and freely, but the bottom one was really quite loose. Um, so my fix for it was I dabbed a little bit of super glue onto the ball, uh, popped the joint back on, and then just sort of slowly moved it around, just teased it around while the glue was drying, and uh, it made sure that that wasn't going to stick in place, um, in one place. But what it did is it provides a bit of an extra layer of or well, adds a layer of glue to the joint. So it thickens that joint up a little bit. And uh, that, that's something I've done with multiple figures over the years. Um, with loose joints, I find it works really well. Um, yeah, again, just make sure you're gonna keep slowly moving that joint um, just to get it to stick a little bit better. Um, just makes that joint a little bit tighter. So that was my major problem with, with the figure when I got it out of the box, but I'm happy with my fix. Um, it's worked out really well for now. Um, we'll just see how long it lasts, um, but, it's, but it's fine for, for the moment. Uh, these guys don't get a lot of play time. Um, they're mostly on display. I'd love to spend a bit more time playing with these action figures, but uh, time does not permit all the time, but that's okay. So overall, he's got the full articulation um, all over for SH figure arts. I don't even know what all the articulation is. There's so much of it, it's ridiculous. Um, the one thing I don't like at the articulation is the extra little armor flap there. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me a lot. And uh, yeah, the arms just don't quite, and they pop out quite easily as well. Um, when that shoulder pad is sort of up and about. Um, so you, again, these figures are really easy to pop back together um, when that happens. But you know, you've got a little bit of movement in there, but yeah, it just, it doesn't provide you that arm up. So that arm can't sort of come up and out that way any more than that really, without the joint popping out, which is probably, yeah, that's probably one of the flaws of this figure for sure. But otherwise he looks sweet. You know, the, the range finder moves up and down. The head helmet's got some good movement. I like that they've painted the neck flesh there. I think that looks good. Overall, it's an aesthetically pleasing looking figure. Um, yeah, he, he does pose well, except for that arm movement. Yeah, lots of leg movement. Yeah, the movement in the toes, the ankles. The arms do move up straight, so that that's fine. I mean, and, uh, yeah, the legs sort of do pop down a bit, so you can just get these guys in a little bit more movement. And you can just sort of slide that one in. It's just sort of on a little hinge in the in the leg there. I know it's hard to see, but overall, it's a good-looking action figure. I'm I'm. I'm happy with it. Um, something just fell off. I'll pick that up. Picked it up in a minute. <laughs> Everything's falling apart here. Um, so I, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. He goes well with the Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, he could to um, replicate that rumble in the rain on Camino there. He stands up okay. I've got him on a flight stand at the moment, sort of shooting down. So yeah, that's Django Fett. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for Obi-Wan Kenobi, the episode two version. I have done the episode one version probably a couple of years ago now, so you can definitely scroll back in my feed and search that one out. Um, yeah, that's about it for this one, guys. So stay, like I said, stay tuned for Obi-Wan Kenobi. And until then, may the force be with you.